Hi everybody, welcome to Sook Vibes. In today's video, we are going to cover 16 questions related to the topic driving with trailers, which falls under the main topic of driving solo motor vehicles and trains, transporting passengers and goods. Let's begin. You are driving in the wet in a car with trailer on a narrow rural road and are approaching a clearly visible but tight left hand bend. What should you do? Now here the situation is a bit complicated. The first thing is the road is wet. Then you are driving a car with trailer. Road is rural and it is narrow. And then there is a tight left hand bend. Then what should you do? I reduce my speed before the bend. This is correct. You should reduce your speed before the bend. Otherwise it could cause skidding of your vehicle. I remain in the center of the lane and only accelerate again once I am back on the straight. This is correct. So you should remain in the center of the lane in order to avoid any kind of skidding. And once the road has become straight, then you can accelerate. I only brake once I have reached the apex of the bend. This is wrong. You should brake beforehand, before reaching the bend. Let me show you. So here you can see. For example, on smooth roads, trailers skid more easily than cars. The stopping distance of tractor trailer combination becomes greater. To negotiate curve safely, always reduce speed before the curve. Before reaching the curve, you should reduce your speed. Stay in the middle of the lane. Accelerate slightly at the apex of the curve itself. So this is what we have here in the options as well. What must you remember when parking a trailer without a truck? The trailer may not be parked for more than two weeks on public roads, yes. May be parked for an unlimited period of time on adequate hard shoulders, wrong. May be parked for more than two weeks on specially designated parking spaces. This is correct. Let me show you an ebook. So trailers without towing vehicles may not be parked for any longer than two weeks on public roads. This does not apply in specially designated parking places. It means you can park there for more than two weeks. What must be remembered with regard to vehicles with canvas covers? When vehicles have canvas covers, a load must not be specially secured. This is wrong. Load should be secured. Otherwise, falling load could cause accident. Unloaded trailers with high canvas cover superstructure are particularly sensitive to side view. This is correct. The canvas covers must not obstruct the driver's rear view through the outside mirror. This is also correct. So you should be able to see the rear view clearly. The canvas covers should not obstruct that. Otherwise, it could be dangerous. You are in your car towing a trailer on road with oncoming traffic and want to turn left. What must you particularly remember when you set off again? Now, before answering the question, let me show you in the ebook. So this is a situation that you are in a car and you are carrying a trailer. A similar thing applies when you are turning left. Remember the length of the combination. The length of the combination means the length of the car and the trailer. And the low acceleration capacity on starting. When you turn towards left side, your acceleration capacity is going to be reduced on starting. The gap between you and the oncoming traffic must always be sufficient because now you need more time to turn to the left bend. One oncoming traffic by flashing your lights wrong. Consider the reduced acceleration capacity. Yes, this you have to consider because now you are having a car with trailer. Think about the length of your car and trailer combination. Yes, with a combination of car and trailer, now the length is more. So you need more time to turn towards left side. What is the maximum number of trailers allowed to be towed by a class B truck? This you have to remember. It is one trailer. Let me also show you in the ebook. There is a special rule in the German Highway Code for combination of motor vehicles and trailers. Thus, only one trailer can be pulled behind a vehicle of class B, car and truck. So only one trailer you can carry. What motor vehicles engaged in the commercial or paid transport of goods are prohibited from driving on Sundays and public holidays? So this you might already know. So trucks towing a trailer and trucks with a gross vehicle weight rating in excess of 7.5 ton. Let me show you here. So there is a prohibition against Sunday driving. Lorries with a total permissible mass of more than 75 ton and all lorries with trailers are not permitted to travel on Sundays and on public holidays during the hours from 0 to 22 hours. Why should you not apply the clutch when driving on long, steep downhill slope? Why? Because the braking action of the engine will have no effect. Yes, because in this case, the brake servo unit will no longer function. This is wrong because this causes unnecessary wear of the brakes. This is correct. Let me also show you here. So for the downhill slopes, Release the clutch, don't press the clutch, otherwise the engine braking effect will not work and the brakes may be worn out. So this is what we are having here, that we should not apply the clutch. You are 
in your car towing a trailer which has no brakes and you approach a long steep downhill slope what is correct before answering it let us read through it so this is simple for the downhill slope what are the things that you have to keep in mind take account of the push of the trailer drop your speed beforehand put the car into a low gear in good time release the clutch this is the thing that we have also read in the previous question so you should release the clutch don't press the clutch otherwise the engine braking effect will not work and the brake may be worn out never turn off the engine as otherwise the steering system may become stiff in vehicles with power steering in vehicles with brake booster the full effect cannot be achieved despite increased pedal force and be prepared to brake so while downhill slope you have to keep all these points in mind now coming back to the question reduce speed if necessary engage low gear in time and be ready to brake yes this is correct this is what we have read in the e book also make allowance for the pushing effect of the trailer this is also correct relieve the car brakes by disengaging the clutch at frequent intervals no you should not press the clutch because otherwise the braking system of the car will not work and it will also cause wear what changes in a car when towing a 2xl trailer so let me show you over here the tractor trailer combination needs more space you are going to need more space if you are carrying a trailer your acceleration capacity will become low the overtaking distance is considerably longer because now you are having a car with a trailer so your overtaking distance is going to be longer and the braking distance is also longer acceleration capacity is reduced this is correct because now you are having more weight so car with trailer driving stability increases wrong more space is needed when turning and driving around the bend this is also correct you are in your car towing a fully loaded trailer which has no brakes what is correct breaking distance increases of course breaking distance increases why because now you are having a combination of car and trailer and moreover the trailer has no brakes stopping distance reduces no reaction distance increases no only breaking distance increases with which vehicles are you not allowed to drive on a road sign post like this so what it shows it shows a truck and the length is 10 meter so if your vehicle is having a length less than 10 meter then you are allowed to use this road tractor with trailer total length of the combination 12 meter no you are not allowed to use this road truck with length of 9 meter including load this is okay because up to 10 meter we can use the road car with caravan trailer total length of combination 11 meter 11 meter is greater than 10 meter so this is also not allowed what is the effect of conning characteristics of a combination vehicle car towing a caravan when taking a turn the caravan can jut out yes it can swing out generally follows the track of the car not really can cut the corner this is also correct so let me show you here when turning trailers can both swing out and cut the corner therefore pay complete attention during this maneuver this is what we have selected over here that the caravan can jut out it can swing out and it can also cut the corner you are driving on a road with potholes and your trailer starts jumping what must you do so you should reduce your speed proceed at the same speed and avoid potholes this could be risky because your vehicle could skid accelerate to keep the combination of vehicle straight wrong reduce speed in order to avoid skidding yes this is a correct thing to do which factors lengthen your braking distance towing a trailer not fitted with brakes yes this we have also seen in the previous questions driving down slopes yes because there is always a pushing effect and moreover when you are driving down slopes there is also momentum of the car a wet or slippery roadway yes because the grip of the tires on the road is not that good what changes when a caravan trailer is towed the distance for overtaking increases considerably yes because now the combination is car with a caravan so of course the overtaking distance increases the braking distance is reduced considerably no the braking distance is increased hasty movements of steering wheel increase the danger of skidding yes so if you apply hasty movements towards your steering wheel it can increase the danger of skidding this is also correct what is the correct response if when reversing a combination vehicle with the view to the rear is impeded so if you are not able to see what's there behind you and you are reversing a combination vehicle you are reversing a car with trailer let us say if the line of sight is broken to the person directing the vehicle must be stopped this is correct for example since you are unable to see anything behind so there is a person who is directing you but if your line of sight is broken with this person then you should stop the vehicle immediately a person directing is not needed when on factory premises no a person directing is only required when driving into a priority road this is also wrong this completes our 16 questions driving with trailers which falls under the main topic of driving solo motor vehicles and trains transporting passengers and goods
Thanks for watching. If you have liked my video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you are interested in any particular topic, please feel free to write in comment section. Take care. See you next time.